just learned how to tie my shoes yesterday. I'm not even joking. Yeah. I learned last night. I'm serious. I'm ready. That's a serious yeah. statement. So we're here with Jonathan Chikas. Um, seems like whenever people doubt you, you have your best performances. In the BKB, you were an opponent. Tonight, you came as the underdog. And this was a stunning knockout victory. How do you feel about that? Well, in all reality, man, it's really not people doubting me because it's always people not believing in me, right? But at the end of the day, is that my two losses were by minor mistakes I shouldn't have made in those fights. I was dominating both of those fights, but there's no excuses. At the end of the day, you know, I worked hard, I trained hard day in and day out, and I just have confidence in there with all the work that I do prior to the fights. Okay, and or just point the mic at me. So, was this fight a little bit more like emotional than most fights? Like, what tell people that don't know about it? What was some of the drama leading into this fight? Um, at the end of the day, I really don't. I really don't even get into that. Really, the drama and all that. I just really, you know, at the end of the day, just work hard day in and day out. Like I said, and I come over and I perform, and I, you know, I just ask God to help me, and He does. What What was the punch that got him? It was a a fury, furies of combinations, different, you know, straight rights and left hooks. But it seemed like the straight right, like you were timing like a jab to the body, or it was like a. A, a slight jab and you came over the top. Yeah, there was a lot of things I was working on. Uh, we was working on the j getting that jab quick. I realized that my jab was a little, the timing wasn't there, so I had to adjust with that. And I seen after the second, third round that he was getting tired. So I started, you know, try to close in and try to pressure him inside. And I seen that he was kind of huffing and puffing, so I kind of capitalized on that. And I know I touched on it earlier, but how much did it mean you were in a, a locker room where every other fighter in the locker room lost? And you came out and you got a stunning knockout victory to end the night. You just got to believe in yourself at the end of the day. You know, um, whether people lose in front or in the side of you, you got to know that what you got, your abilities and everything, have faith and go in there and do what you got to do. And finally, you look at your shirt. That's a famous upset. It's on your uh, shirt. <laughs> Did you plan for that? No, everything just works out, you know. Everything works out how it's supposed to work out, and I have a great team, a lot of great friends, so I'm just happy I'm going to go celebrate and then get back to work.